हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकितन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हियर विथ माय डेली प्रिडिक्शंस एंड एनालिसिस फॉर ग्लोबल मार्केट्स एंड कमोडिटीज इन दिस एनालिसिस वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट टू यूएस यूरोप यूके एंड इंडिया इंडिसेस एंड आल्सो क्रूड ऑयल नेचुरल गैस एंड गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर कमोडिटीज यस्टरडे अगेन इट वॉज ए वंडरफुल डे दो वॉज द एनालिसिस डेफिनेटली वुड हैव प्रॉफिटेड प्रिसाइजली All the markets have returned from the highs which I had mentioned yesterday. Whether be it thirty four four hundred for US thirty, whether be it for uh, uh whether be it seventeen three fifty for Nifty fifty, and almost all the markets remained intact within that zone and dropped heavily with the uh, geopolitical tensions rising. Now, what is going to happen today? Let's start the analysis with gold first. Now, see, gold has all. Uh, on the daily charts it is formed almost double top here and this is the blue line can you see here this is the weighted moving average 50 period weighted moving average which is giving it a little resistance at 1915 levels now also remember once it breaks this at 1915 yes you can go long and definitely it is going to give you a sharper green move taking it towards 1920 1923 and 1927 levels also I would like to show you something here on the daily charts. Now look at the candles here. The bottom is intact. It has got its support at eighteen eighty seven, eighteen eighty eight levels. The top is right now lying of this channel is right now lying at nineteen twenty one, twenty three levels. Now also on the downside, if it continues to break from here, let's say if it is below nineteen ten, yes, you below nineteen ten, you can remain short and. how far this could drop this could again come back till towards 1905 and 1900 levels now now 1900 is definitely going to give a strong support to gold any drop below 1900 is a good indication that it may try to come back again towards 1895 and 1888 levels now these two levels have become important for gold specifically on the upside 1915 is definitely going to give a strong resistance now see the stochastic consistently maintaining overbought positions hence uh gold has to drop some point of time if not today tomorrow but yes it has to drop that is what i had shared in my weekly analysis also may see a high at around 1920 25 zone that is what also i had shared in my weekly analysis now i'll be waiting for it if it continues to rise today or not let's have a look at further time frame macd lines are trying to converge and almost running parallel rsi it is overbought now come back to the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts you can see that see it has got retracement here taking the support at 1891 it has again started rising now here also it has formed a double top and now dropping also look at this the candle has opened below this levels now the body is red so probably with this as a, a resistance at 1914 it may try to drop a bit the next support level should definitely come into picture picture at 1904 and if it continues to break definitely first resistance at 1900 definitely 1900 should provide a important not only psychological resistance but yes you can see here the 20 period exponential moving average trying to give it a support at 1900 level so below this yes it will come back to 1895 and below that it will try to come back again towards 1890 1888 eight levels so in some right now till it trades below 1910 yes you can remain short below 1910 the next target is 1905 below 1905 rather i will say 1904 below 1904 it will come back to 1900 then 1895 and below levels also if you are short if you are short put your stop loss at 19101 it's once it's break 1910 my target is again going to be towards 1911 1915 levels now also let's have a look here on the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour chart stochastic again trying to enter into overbought position then there is a crossover which might happen on the macd rsi is comfortable here rsi doesn't seem to be moving much similarly on the 3 hour charts similar is the observation on the 3 hour charts and 2 hour charts as well on the 2 hour chart it appears that probably it might see a little drop and on the early charts yes uh, looking in the same fashion but now let's come to the early charts on the early charts you can see here see now it is again trying to trade in this channel where the low is at around 1904 if it breaks above 1910 
if it breaks above 1910 remember yes you can go long there above 1910 my target is towards 1912 and 1914 levels if it breaks 1914 definitely it will fly higher so above 1910 we have to be cautious with our shorts rather a long entry would be appreciated there and may it may try to rise towards 1912 1914 and beyond 1914 definitely we may see it flying towards 1918 1923 25 zone and in fact it can rise much higher than this levels so this is a uh, in some one more candle i would like to show you is the weekly candle because see the weekly candle has begun and now look at this it has formed a tail here it is trying to rise and it may try to continue in this uh, levels where 1935 1925 and plus plus levels can be expected so somewhere in between 1925 1935 can be achieved if it continues to rise and trades above 1914 levels so take your positions accordingly to summarize it again go long above 1910 1910 levels and the nearest resistance is at 1912 and 1914 once these two resistances are taken you can again take a long entry there at 1915 where the next target is pretty much high at 1918 1923 and 1927 levels beyond that also it can achieve 1935 remember it can achieve higher levels now the support only short entry for the day if you want to remain short throughout the day is below 1895 levels where it can drop towards 1888 and further downside is also welcome and on minor time frame charts yes below 1910 you can remain short for 1904 1904 uh, is the next target 1900 is the next target then below that it will try to hit 1895 and 1891 1888 levels below that it may crash heavily so take your positions accordingly now let's move towards silver now see so silver on the 4 hour charts we can see here the rally is trying to stall here and we can see lower highs on the 4 hour charts at the same time low higher lows is also we can observe here so till the time it remains above this zone at 2380 one can remain one need not to go long and till 2415 in between these 35 points we have to presume caution here we have to be a little bit cautious here but it can try to hit 2380 and once it drops below 2380 we can expect 2370 and 2350 levels which might provide a stronger support for silver but if it breaks this time this is going to be a sharper red candle if it breaks this time this is going to be a sharper red candle if it continues to rise beyond uh this zone at 24 20 levels definitely it is going to be a sharper rise so take your positions accordingly but Uh, remember the downside right now for silver is quite high and it is trading in a bullish zone but about 20 50 100 moving average but the rally is appears to be installing on uh, silver probably we may see a little break on the rally but uh, let's have a look at the different time frame charts but before that let's have also have a look at the indicators here uh, overbought on stochastic macd lines are still in buy rsi is still at comfortable levels neither overbought nor oversold now look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour chart see here uh, uh this was the reversal retracement taking the support at 2380 levels 2375 levels it is again trying to rise achieve the high at 2420 look at this this candle the bulls have lost the control here and closed the candle at almost uh the body size keeping the body size minimalistic here now this after the 4 hour charts it is showing a reversal here probably we may see a sharper red candle again where it may try to come back to 2380 levels and in fact can drop below so on the 4 hour chart it appear but also it appears that if it trades in this zone and the next candle you see breaking beyond 2412 yes you can go long there so if you see it rising above 2412 again yes you can go long there for 2420 and beyond that definitely it will fly the first observation second observation if you see it dropping below 2380 definitely there you can go short for 2370 and below levels so in between 2412 and 2380 around now it the range is reduced to almost 32 points in this 32 points we have to be cautious with uh, taking positions in silver uh, stochastic on a 4 hour chart is comfortable and magdil trying to cross over on a buy side that is what is observant here 
look at the three R chart. Similar is the observation on the three R chart. Probably trying to reverse, but uh, not. It is getting a support here at twenty three nineteen ninety. From here, if it breaks this zone at twenty four ten levels, definitely we will consider this is in a bullish mode and it will fly definitely. So take your positions accordingly on the daily charts. It appears on the downside. Now you can see on the weekly charts. Probably it may try to form another greener candle, but the bulls are not that much because the previous body of the candle is not so strong. However, if it trades about twenty four twenty, definitely it will fly towards twenty five hundred and uh, plus plus levels. But whether it will happen today or not, that we have to see. Right now, for the day, it appears a long entry beyond twenty four twelve is recommended, where you can expect twenty four twenty. 2435 and 2440 levels the nearest target beyond that it will fly towards 2460 and 2500 levels on the downside if it breaks 2380 yes you can go short there very strong support 2380 below that it will drop towards 2370 the nearest support and then 2360 below that the sky is open towards 2340 2320 and 2300 levels so take your positions accordingly now let's move towards crude oil See, oil is flying again. It has again formed a base now at around. Uh, you can see um, here at 89.50 levels, which is going to become a strong support for uh, oil now for any further drop. At the same time, one must not forget that there is a resistance at 9400 levels. Now, if it breaks 9400, definitely that is the case, which will try to take it towards 9600, 9750, and it will touch. The much-awaited hundred dollars level. So uh, the any short entry on co uh, crude oil is only below eighty-nine fifty level. Once it breaks eighty-nine fifty, then only I will recommend you to go short. That is for the day and positional short. Remember, here is the twenty period moving average exponential, and that is the twenty period simple moving average. Now at ninety and ninety point five, ninety point two levels. Now these two levels are important: ninety point two and ninety. Levels. If it breaks nine ninety twenty and nine thousand levels, definitely it will break sharply. At the same time, it is trading at the top of the Bollinger Bands, ninety four hundred. Definitely trying to provide a little resistance for any downward move. If it breaks ninety four hundred, definitely it will hit ninety six hundred levels and plus plus levels are also very much possible. Now on the daily charts, is uh, oil is now again stochastic is bottom, and uh, MACD trying to cross over. Hence, it can see a rally here again. Now look at the four hour charts. On the four hour charts, uh, after this achieving this high, it has seen a sharp drop. After achieving the high at ninety four hundred, which is almost forming a double top here, you can see this is the double top. It has seen a drop. Now this level at ninety two hundred is also trying to provide a support. Below that, here the next pivot is directly at ninety one hundred, and then this is strong support zone at ninety forty, ninety twenty, and nine nine thousand levels will come into picture. So this is going to be important support and 100 period moving average 89.50 levels. So this zone between 89.50 and 90.40 levels are important for net, uh, crude oil. Also there here you can see 92.00 is important now. 92.00 if it breaks, definitely it can try to break further downside. Also uh, look at the stochastic is overbought. Uh, MACD lines are running in a buy zone. But uh, let's we have to further look it into minor time frames on a three hour charts appearing the same. It may try to drop from here probably, but we have to be watchful of because the it is it is not only about the charts and indicators right now. The geopolitical tensions are uh, weighing heavy on oil, and that is why the prices have risen strongly. But uh, also we must not forget. See after this rally. See, this was the base. It has created eighty nine, eighty nine fifty levels. Then a rally. It has got its resistance intact at eighty nine, ninety four hundred levels. And now higher lows is what it is trying to prepare. From there, if it breaks, from here, if it breaks beyond ninety three hundred, so go long above ninety three hundred. That is the call. And go short below ninety two hundred. That is the call. Below ninety two hundred, the next target is towards. It will come to ninety one forty, ninety one twenty. That is going to be strong support on the upside. Once it breaks ninety three hundred, it might hit again towards ninety four hundred. And once it breaks ninety four hundred, definitely it will try to achieve ninety six hundred levels in the coming days or time frame. But it is overbought on the two hour charts, and that is what is making it a bit cautious here on crude oil. Now look at the weekly charts. On the weekly charts, you can see the bottom here at eighty seven point five. 
right now it has seen a higher low and uh, create, trying to create support at 8900 levels and the if you if it continues to rally here 9500 is something i will be looking forward to so beyond 9300 yes you can remain long the next target is 9400 and then 9500 levels this levels can be achieved and still it can uh, close the week in a red candle where it can drop afterwards later this week but right now it appears that it can, it may continue to rise any long entry is beyond 9300 where the target is 9400 and 9500 levels and a short entry below 9200 where the target is 9140 9120 these are the two nearest targets below that it will try to come back again towards 9050 and 9020 levels i expect it to rise i expect it to probably hit 9400 again and then we may see whether it can try to hit 9500 also this day today itself so this is all about crude oil let's move towards natural gas this is the daily chart for natural gas it is consistently rising from here as we had expected now the high is at around 4800 probably we might see it rising towards 4800 again that is going to be a stronger resistance breaking 4800 you can expect it to fill this liquidity gap and achieve 4950 and 5000 levels so breaking 4800 you can expect it to hit 4950 and 5000 levels where uh, probably we may see a strong bullish move there there you can expect it to hit 5000 levels at least or 5 dollar level at least so Uh, on the daily charts also you can see this is a 20 period moving average now moving towards 4500 levels or 4.5 dollar levels also here at uh, the 100 period moving average and the 20 simple moving average all lying below below 4500 to 4200 levels that is 4.5 to 4.2 dollar levels and in between these levels definitely there is going to be a stronger support for natural gas to drop till the time it remains above 4500 one can remain long on the daily charts and you can expect it to hit 4800 and then towards 5000 levels 4950 definitely may provide a support now let's come back to the uh, also let's have a look at the indicators here on the daily charts you will find that uh, natural gas is uh, right now still at a comfortable stochastic and there is a crossover on macd so probably it, we may see uh, it rising strongly but let's have a look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts you will find that after this bullish candle it has achieved 4750 now it is trying to break this channel and it can continue beyond this so once it is beyond 4730 yes you can go long it will try to hit 4750 and 4800 levels so we have got our long entry at 4730 any short entry is recommended only once it breaks 4620 levels so 4730 and 4620 we have to be very cautious here that is 4.73 and 4.62 dollar levels we have to be cautious in between these two levels any move below 4620 will try to take it towards 4560 uh, and 4520 levels and on the upside once it breaks 47 uh 30 levels we can expect it to hit 4800 and then 4950 and 5000 levels can also be expected a stochastic is comfortable here and macd lines are still on buy zone so yes this appears that probably we have got the entry levels here uh on the 3 hour charts also it's okay and looking at this higher highs is been higher lows is been formed higher highs is being formed 4750 something which i will be looking forward to if 4730 is taken then 4750 and once it breaks 4750 it will try to hit 4800 and 4950 levels remember once it breaks 4750 it will try to hit 4800 and 4950 levels in dollar terms 4.80 and 4.95 levels breaking below 46 20 levels yes there you can go short you can again expect it to come back till towards 4550 and below levels so uh, our short entries are intact at 4600 our long entries are intact at 4730 that is 4.73 and rather i will say 4.62 in between these 110 points in in the, in, the, in between this 1.10 dollars we have to be very cautious so again summarizing 4620 you can go short you can expect it to hit 4550 4560 zone and then below that it may try to drop above 4730 uh, and specifically 40 it will try to hit 4750 and beyond that it will try to rally towards 4800 4950 and 5000 levels take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at nifty 
Now look at Nifty Nifty Fifty on the daily charts. As I shared yesterday, seventeen three fifty has provided it a stronger resistance. It and it has sharply reversed from those levels on the daily charts. And I hope, as I told yesterday, take a short entry. Don't forget to short take a short entry at seventeen three fifty. Also. This is the same thing I told you in my weekly analysis also that seventeen three fifty you can take a short entry. Don't forget to take a short entry now again. See why seventeen three fifty here it is the twenty period moving average and fifty period moving average coming together. Only beyond these levels one can expect it to go long. Now for the day here at seventeen one sixty and seventeen two hundred ten these two levels I will be watchful of. If it breaks this, then only I will recommend you to go long. Now coming back to the daily charts. I expect that probably today it may show you a sharper red candle again, where you can expect it to come back to sixteen eight hundred. And once sixteen eight hundred is taken in the coming days, in uh, the tomorrow or day after tomorrow, we may see it dropping to sixteen five hundred levels also. And mark my words. And today. Till the time it remains above seventeen thousand below seventeen thousand one hundred, you can remain short. You can expect it to drop towards sixteen eight hundred. My target for the day is sixteen eight hundred. Mark my words. Till the time it remains below seventeen one hundred, you can remain short on Nifty Fifty. You can expect it to hit sixteen eight hundred levels. At the same time, if it breaks seventeen one eighty. You can expect it to hit seventeen two ten and beyond seventeen two ten again seventeen three fifty will come into picture where it can see a good reversal there. So only long entry I will recommend is beyond seventeen one hundred till seventeen one hundred. Any rise is a good level to go short. Any rise you can sell every rise there till seventeen one hundred. You can expect it to hit sixteen eight hundred levels. And at least sixteen eight hundred should be expected today. Probably we might see on Nifty Fifty. So uh, look at the stochastic hitting bottom here, and probably it may try to enter into oversold levels. MACD lines are running parallel on a four-hour chart. The story is uh, similar and looking downwards after this retracement, getting the resistance here. Now you can see. Uh, seventeen one fifty. This is the twenty period exponential moving average, and seventeen two hundred. This is a simple and weighted moving average, giving it a resistance here. So as I said, any long entry beyond seventeen one hundred in the next target seventeen one fifty and seventeen two hundred ten can be expected. Below beyond that, definitely it will fly. But I will expect it to drop today sharply. I will expect it to at least hit sixteen nine hundred here, nine hundred ten, and then below that it may try to co correct towards sixteen eight hundred. Levels also on the four hour charts, you can see it. It is trying to fill this gap here, and probably now again looking forward to sixteen eight hundred. This time, definitely, if it grows near to sixteen eight hundred, it will break that also. As I said in my weekly analysis, we might see sixteen five hundred on Nifty Fifty. But if it's uh, today or not, we have to see. But look at the stochastic on the four hour charts. It's extremely on the sell side, and hence. We may see it bouncing from sixteen nine hundred or eight hundred levels. That is also very much possible. MACD lines are still on sell on a four hour charts. Also, looking at the weekly charts as we expected, it is perfectly behaved in this manner. Now it is trying to hit at least this zone at sixteen thousand five hundred on the weekly charts. So once it breaks sixteen eight hundred, we will expect it to hit sixteen five hundred zone on the weekly charts. Probably we might see it coming whether. Today, tomorrow, or by Friday, we have to look forward to it. So, in sum, remain short below seventeen one hundred, where you can expect sixteen eight hundred definitely, and then below that also, it may continue to break. The next targets are sixteen seven twenty, sixteen six hundred, sixteen five hundred levels. And on the upside, once it breaks seventeen one hundred, that time you can take a long entry. The nearest resistance at seventeen one fifty. Then seventeen one eighty, seventeen two ten can be achieved. From there also you can see a reversal beyond seventeen two ten. It will again try to fly towards seventeen three hundred three fifty levels. So take your positions accordingly. Now let's move towards US thirty. Now US thirty has hit thirty three five hundred. Recall my weekly analysis. I told very clearly we are going to see a crash on on US thirty. People wait for the news. We wait for the charts. We look at the charts and we expect it to continue. With the help of charts and indicators, right now at thirty three five sixty. Now you can see here on the daily charts, it has formed a wick here. It has formed a wick here, and then with this wick, it is trying to. 
trying to form a body now we have seen after this uh, minor step also it has formed the wick here for the on the daily charts and now it is trying to drop probably once it breaks this zone at 33 500 again we may see it falling towards 33 200 recall my weekly analysis i told very clearly that 33 200 300 zone should be achieved this week itself and that is what it is trying to do one can remain short below 33 500 the nearest support at 33 400 will come into picture below that definitely it will correct towards 33 200 300 zone and below that anyways sky is the limit but uh, look at this the stochastic is trading at oversold levels the MACD lines are divergent and are crossed over so indicating that yes there is bearishness here and look at the 4 hour charts now 4 hour charts you will find that uh, see uh, a minor green candle here higher highs now i will expect it to continue with for the red candles from here where it can drop till towards 33000 levels also in the coming candles so we have to be very cautious with our long positions any long position is only recommended beyond 33700 and 33800 specifically if it breaks 33800 yes you can go long there for 34000 34300 recall my yesterday's analysis clearly told, told any long entry is beyond 34400 now for the day i will say any long entry is beyond 33800 only once it breaks 33800 then only you should go long till the time it is below 338 the next target is 33400 and below that 33 uh, 280, 33, 200 and 33,000 can be seen here on uh, US 30. Be very cautious with your longs but yes you can confirm it a reversal once it breaks 33,800. You can confirm it a reversal once it breaks 33,800 and then it will rise strongly. So we have got a couple of entry points here also. A stochastic rising on but look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts uh, only if it breaks this zone at 33. Uh, now 650 levels yes it will try to hit 33800 else it may continue with the red candles and this time the candle is going to be sharp red which may try to take it towards 33200 levels remember 33200 is my target for the week and below that it will try to break towards 33000 also so yes now you can if you are taking a short entry on the 3 hour charts you, you can expect 33600 as the stop loss and remain short on US 30 with the stop loss at 33600 and you can expect it to drop till towards 33400 and towards 33200 levels also on the weekly charts it is taking a perfect shape as i told in my weekly analysis those who watched watched much must have profited and already in profit we had expected it to give you sharp red candles that is what i had drew i had drawn on my weekly analysis I had, I had shared that it is the bottom is open it can break heavily that is what we have seen and now for the day till the time it remains below 33600 yes you can take a short entry for 33400 levels and below this remember 33500 is a very strong support for us 30 below that it will hit 33400 and below that it will go towards 33200 and 33000 levels also any long entry beyond 33600 for a next resistance at 33800 and then towards uh, 34000 and plus plus levels again we will see we don't trade with the news don't trade with the levels don't trade with anything but trade with the levels eliminate your bias and if it is looking that you can see that it is reversing beyond 33600 650 zone yes you can take a long entry for 33800 we have to make profit and if you are getting 150 200 points any side yes you can take an entry there so uh, then uh, above 33600 the next target could be at around 33800 levels below 33600 you can remain short for 33500 33400 uh, then 33200 will come into picture my target is towards 33200 levels now let's move towards us 100 us 100 on the weekly charts as i expected similarly trading in the same fashion it has seen a high at 14200 that is what 14150 160 zone it provided a stronger resistance that is what we had expected that it is going to get the support there and now it is going to drop and that is what precisely has happened it has dropped till towards 33 13600 levels now on the weekly charts we will just uh, this is the overlook on the weekly charts coming back to the daily charts on the daily charts you will find that uh, see the candle is yet to take a shape but is, you can see the high if it continues to rise could be at around 14100 14000 levels and any long entry confirmed long entries beyond those levels also it may try to take a double bottom here and rise from there but 
once it breaks this zone at 13600 definitely that is the level where you can go short you can expect it to this time the candle is going to be sharp red this time see it has formed a smaller body it, this time if it continues to drop you can expect a larger body size so previously we have seen it almost from 13800 to 13600 levels 200 points of body and now this time the body size is going to be bigger where you can expect it to come back till towards first target 13480 and beyond 13480 we may see it to hitting 13300 levels also on the upside once you see it breaking 13800 that time you can take a long entry previously that was the a stronger support for us 32 for further to break remember it is broken this is stronger support at 13800 trading below these levels and hence indicating that probably there is bearishness here on us 100 now look at the stochastic i have driven it uh, i have drawn it many a times the stochastic will take this form it is perfectly taking the shape and enter into oversold levels on the daily charts the macd has just crossed over and are divergent probably indicating that yes there is still bearishness here on us 100 looking at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour chart it appears see it has formed higher highs it is trying to take a drops hence we may see it continuing till towards 13600 and once it draws below 13600 my next target is 13550 very nearby below that it will try to drop towards 13480 levels and then it can drop heavily on the downside towards 13400 and 13300 zone also on the upside yes any long entry you can take once it breaks 13820 zone once it breaks 13820 you can take a long entry there you can expect it to rise 14000 levels again dpo is in red the stochastic is bottom macd lines had crossed over so yes it appears also now coming back to the three archers that interesting here you can take a long entry at 13700 also now you can take a long entry at 13700 the next target is 13770 and 13820 levels so we have got couple of entries here a long entry beyond 13700 yes you can take and take a target of 13760 and 13820 levels below 13700 yes you can remain short you can again expect it to come back till towards 13600 and it can try to drop towards 13480 levels also so take your positions accordingly we may see it dropping towards 13480 and in fact below levels till the time it remains above 13700 now remember 13700 is the level for the day beyond that you can again expect it to hit 13830 levels and uh, yes beyond that it can hit or uh, fly high towards 14000 levels also take your positions accordingly trade with levels and yes you can take a short entry below and uh, anytime below 13600 definitely that will be a good indication for you to uh, expect it to drop and give another 120 points where you can expect uh, 13480 levels also so this is all for us 100 now let's move towards germany 40 now let's have a look at FTSE 100 FTSE 100 on the 3 hour chart it is seen minor retracement bulls are not trying to take it higher and now it is trying to pull back probably breaking this zone at 7400 you can take a short entry then again it will try to hit 7380 7360 this is going to be a stronger support and as i said yesterday also 7480 breaking 7480 it has broken successfully now trading in a bearish territory now till the time it remains below 7460 levels today one can remain short one can expect it to head towards 7350 levels and this is going to be important level for FTSE 100 so breaking 7400 you can take a short entry for 7350 but the stochastic on a 3 hour chart and the MACD are divergent and trading at bottom most of the indicators are trading at bottom look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts it has seen a high trying to take a drop from here if it breaks 17, uh, uh, 7400 levels definitely we may see it breaking sharply towards 7350 7360 levels the target for the day uh, should be at around 7350 levels and below that it will break heavily towards 7300 levels also on the daily charts uh yes similar is the, it is formed a wick here and once it breaks this zone at 7380 for the day this is provided a stronger support this is the 100 period moving average so below 7400 you can expect 7380 once 7380 is taken then 7350 will come into picture and below that it can try to drop heavily towards 7300 levels also any long entry is recommended beyond 7460 levels only 
सो सेवन फोर सिक्स जीरो लॉन्ग एंट्री सेवन फोर हंड्रेड शॉर्ट एंट्री वेयर यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट सेवन थ्री एटी विच इज गोइंग टू बी अ स्ट्रॉगर सपोर्ट फॉर फुट सी हंड्रेड इफ इट ब्रेक सेवन थ्री एट जीरो येस यू कैन कंसिडर दिस इज एंटर इन टू बेरिस्ट एट्री स्ट्रॉगर बेरिस्ट एट्री ऑलरेडी आई हेड सेट दिस बिफोर सेवन फोर एट जीरो इज गोइंग टू बी द डिसीजिव लेवल नाउ इट हेज एंटर इन टू बेरिस्ट टेरिटरी यू कैन टेक अ नेक्स्ट टारगेट ऑफ सेवन थ्री एट जीरो एंड आफ्टर इफ यू एंड ओनली टेक अ शॉर्ट एंट्री एट सेवन फोर हंड्रेड with the next target at 7380 7350 is going to be the next target below that sky is the limit it may try to break towards 7320 which is going to be another strong support level for FTSE 100 only take a long entry beyond 7460 then 7480 7520 will again come into picture for FTSE 100 take your positions accordingly now let's move towards germany 40 Germany 40 has seen a sharp red candle yesterday. You can see 15200 to 14400, almost 800 points of drop, and we had expected this level to provide a stronger resistance for Germany 40. That is what precisely has happened. I hope you all profited. Now again today 14400 is definitely a strong support for Germany 40. Once it breaks 14400 today. Yes, you can take a long entry at fourteen three eighty. Then you can expect it to drop towards fourteen one eighty, and it may drop further below and correct sharply towards fourteen one hundred and fourteen thousand levels. Also, look at the DPO. Everything is oversold right now. MACD lines are wide and divergent, indicating more bearishness here. RSI trying to hit oversold levels. Look at the four hour chart. On the four hour chart, it appears. That the bearishness is trying to eliminate any breakdown below fourteen four hundred. That will be a very good level to go short. Yes, you can expect then fourteen one eighty, and then it will try to break towards fourteen thousand levels and below levels also. So, oversold, oversold. But let's have a look at the three R charts. On the three R charts, ah uh, yes, you can expect once it breaks fourteen five hundred here, you can take a long entry for fourteen. Six hundred and twenty levels. So beyond fourteen five hundred, you can take a long entry on Germany forty. Below fourteen four hundred, you can take a short entry on Germany forty. So, ah, uh, observations are clear. Ah, uh, in this hundred points between fourteen five hundred to fourteen four hundred, we have to be very cautious. Also, once. You see it rising. Take a target of fourteen six hundred, six twenty, and then fourteen seven hundred can be seen, and from there also it can reverse. Remember, it can reverse. So these levels again, you can take a short entry, but fourteen four hundred definitely to provide a stronger base here for the day. Once it breaks fourteen four hundred and fourteen three eighty specifically, take a short entry. It is going to drop sharply towards. Fourteen one eighty and fourteen one hundred fourteen thousand levels can also be expected on Germany forty, trading at the bottoms of the levels and indicating probable bearishness here. It can sustain this on the weekly charts. As I said, as I shared in my analysis, we can expect it to drop sharply, and that is what has happened. Now it can continue with this drop. So uh, to summarize it. Take a short entry only below fourteen four hundred and fourteen three eighty levels, where the next target is fourteen one eighty and fourteen thousand. And on the flip side, if you see it breaking above fourteen five hundred, you can expect it to hit fourteen. Uh, take a short entry there, a long entry there. You can expect it to hit fourteen six ten and six twenty levels, and then fourteen seven hundred can also be expected. But we may see it correcting from those levels also. So be very cautious with your. Long positions and almost immediately close, as you can see here. Uh, as you can see, it reversing. This is all from my side for all the indices and commodities. If you like and appreciate my my effort, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Press the bell icon. Stay tuned with the latest analysis. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.